With Ron DeSantis out of the presidential race, Nikki Haley and Donald Trump will face off in New Hampshire's primary election tomorrow. And two Navy SEALs missing for more than a week in the Red Sea are now presumed dead. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. There's one day to go before the New Hampshire presidential primary. Now it's a two-person race. Following Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' announcement yesterday, he'd suspend his presidential campaign. From member station WBUR, Anthony Brooks reports DeSantis' decision could help former President Donald Trump fend off a challenge from former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. DeSantis promised Trump-like policies but without the drama, but now he's out of the race and has endorsed Trump. Polls show that a majority of his New Hampshire supporters say Trump Trump is their second choice. So this could narrow the path for Nikki Haley, who badly needs a victory in New Hampshire. She's counting on the state's many moderate independents who can pull either a Democratic or a Republican ballot. Voters like Carol DeHaven of Hollis, who says she's voting for Haley in the primary because Trump is a threat to democracy. I like her policies. I like what she stands for. And she is not Trump. However, just like my husband, if it's between Trump and Biden, I will definitely vote for Biden. Trump and Haley are making their final pitches to New Hampshire voters on Monday. For NPR News, I'm Anthony Brooks. Meanwhile, Trump could testify today in his New York defamation trial. Writer E. Jean Carroll says Trump defamed her by calling her a liar. That was after, she said, he sexually assaulted her in the 1990s. Last year, a jury found Trump liable for sexual assault and defamation against Carroll. This new jury is determining whether Trump should pay damages for more defamatory statements. NPR's Andrea Bernstein says the only thing at issue is how much. The jury could order Trump to pay compensatory damages for the two statements he made while president. But, and the judge has already pointed this out to the jury, they can determine punitive damages based on how much money it could take to get Trump to stop. NPR's Andrea Bernstein reporting. Winter storms are still pounding the Central Plains and Midwest this morning. The Associated Press says at least 72 people have died in the U.S. this month in weather-related incidents. The U.S. military says that two Navy SEALs missing off the coast of Somalia are presumed dead. As NPR's Emma Bowman reports, crews had searched for the two SEALs for more than a week. The SEALs were reported missing after a January 11th raid of an Iranian ship, which U.S. defense officials said was carrying ballistic and cruise missiles headed for Houthi fighters in Yemen. During the raid, one Navy SEAL fell into the rough waters. A second followed the SEAL to save him. In a statement on Sunday, U.S. Central Command said that it ended the 10-day search after covering more than 21,000 square miles. The Houthis have attacked commercial ships off the coast of Yemen in the Red Sea for weeks. The U.S. has responded with airstrikes on Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen. The Houthis say their attacks are a show of support for Palestinians facing Israeli attacks in Gaza. Emma Bowman, NPR News. This is NPR.